forgot to turn on voice meter banana and I had to fix my uh, hell clip, uh, co the colored clip. I apologize for that glowing sunlight, so nothing I can do about that. I just realized I hit one year anniversary on YouTube for this account. I've been on YouTube for about four years or something. I was actually on 4th of July, but I don't remember the year. However, I lost that account. I ha got three strikes and you lose your email to that account as well. I did not know that. So I lost everything because of that, those three strikes. But then I think I found some of the people I was sub to, I probably not all of them, and then I found more people to sub to across all my accounts that I have not today, which is my spirit blog. That hit one year anniversary. My gaming channel is going to its one year anniversary, however, I stopped uploading on it because, for one, there were no views whatsoever. I felt, okay, I have like 100 videos on there, now there is no tracks into it, and I'm not a Roblox gamer. I have multiple games, not just Roblox, so I said, you know what, this is not working for me, it is time to upload my my games into my spirit blog channel, even though it is gaming, uh, let's play a, now just, just talking with a game in the background, which has well, light worker topics sprinkled in uh, throughout, which I have done with the the uh, World of Warcraft classic let's play. It had light language inside it randomly, which is good. Uh, I have arc, and it has. I use my brain. It's good when you do that instead of smash the button. No brain activity. Uh, so there's that. My other account had 64 subs, uh, it was 65, but on that account it was just for a Facebook game, but they, well I deleted all my videos because YouTube did a prank where it said they would go through every single video and uh, something about a top one, what is the top one or something and I'm like, well I have videos that I don't want the staff of YouTube to go through. So I deleted all of them, re-uploaded them, but there was no traction on it. I had like, I think one video with a like 700 views or something, but then I deleted it because of the stupid prank and then I re-uploaded it. But then in the midst of that game, it was this one game and then they redesigned it and then I didn't like the game anymore. But I'm not a Facebook gamer anymore as well. And that was before my actual gaming channel because that was my cluttered account with random nonsense. It's yeah, art, music, games, slideshows, fractal animations, all into one account and it was messy. I, I did not like it and I didn't like my username either. So I created a whole new account. Here we are one year later and going strong. 3,000 total views. Actually, it's over that now. But I did not mean to drone 
uh, side topics, but that's kind of like this video purpose. How long have you been on YouTube? What have you done? Have you uploaded anything prior to this account? Uh, what is your goal now? What is your focus now? So it's like a memory lane type of video. I do apologize for that giant sun glow in the background. I, I do not like it. So I will now split to my cat girl Neko and OBS does not let me for, uh, move anything around even though it's not locked. I have not figured out what went on, why it is doing that. Anyways, now that the sun glow is not in your face, it is a more enjoyable video. Now, to eat, I should say, mix it up a bit. Experimental mode. Uh, now with my Neko goal with a, a warden mask, I finally figured out what that mask is called. It's a warden mask. Um, I don't know what this girl is from and what anime is she from. I have no idea. But that's kind of besides the point. Uh, so, Memory Lane, I had an account, got three strikes, lost everything, recreated it, uploaded everything, messy account, subbed to so hopefully what I could find again. Uh, view count was only towards a Facebook game that was just launched. I made a video on how to play it even though people still comment how to play and the user ID thingy. Um, so that video I think that video has over 500 views now, but they did not pay attention to my other videos. Same with my actual gaming channel. Uh, so I have my first account, that is actually my second, and then I have my art channel and then I have a Twitch channel except uh, I was still in the midst of figuring out my usernames. I have like two accounts <laughs> for Twitch I don't even use. Um, then I have my my spirit blog which is my main followed by my gamer another gamer channel except it's not tied to Twitch at all. So across the board I have over 500 videos. That is counting on all accounts. But for the meantime, that is like memory lane of how I got on YouTube, what was I doing, etc. So I was trying to figure out my username, what I wanted to do, and here we are a year later being a spirit blogger, enlightenment blog, extension blog, I still don't really know what the proper name to go with now because I've seen enlightening, I've seen spirit blog, I've seen light worker blog, uh, so I don't know, me, I, I just called it Spilt Blog, but maybe I should change the name and call it Extension Blog because that is the purpose, bringing awareness of Spilt Still Enlightenment to the masses. So yeah, that is the theme now, that is the goal, that is the mission, that is the focus. However. Now the direct direction is, we went from a first username as Leila Rose Thelema Das Starseed to Priestess Moon. 
And with that, I suppose I am more comfortable now on YouTube. Maybe it is the name change. Maybe it is because, hey, you've done over 400 videos now. Maybe the shyness is completely gone and it's been a year so you're more comfortable. I, those are just, uh, guesses as to the, oh, you're more comfortable now. I, okay, the, I started as a reading from my blog to organic blog maker. Mind blown. However, I now do PowerPoint presentations when I can, and now I am trying a story time cartoon machinima thing. If you don't know Super Planet Dolan or Nixium or Moo Cluck, look them up. You and I know there are other machinimas, but World of Warcraft has a ton of machinima makers. Even Skyrim has machinima makers. There was nothing in Ark. Look it up if you do not believe me. I've tried it. I found one in Spanish or two in Spanish and one was in English, but I don't think that, trust me, there's not a lot of machinima for Ark. Don't know why, but I'm the first to combine World of Warcraft models into Ark. So that's my my thing now I am trying to do. I have a script. I just have to figure out that now. Like, do I want to start in with how I have it set currently? Or do I change the story to back up the story to show in the, the two noobs, they find a poster or a video ad saying, hey, come on down to the sacred temple of light, C come hang out with me or something, and they'll, one guy jokes, oh, she's hot, I'm going to go with, go to it, and the other guy's like, He's joking, saying, oh, so she calls herself a priestess. Does that mean I can call her a mistress? So they both go down there and let the fun begin of jokes. And then they end up changing their minds and, oh, I didn't mean to be rude. I'm going to stay because I want to be enlightened, not because I am thinking with my pants or something. So I have like the middle part of the script, but it's like, do I back up and start it from those two guys or do I start it from, from the after that, but don't get into it. I've yet to decide on that. And then we have VR chat Neko girl, uh, Fox girl. Um, I have not gone back into VR uh, chat as of yet, only because I have not really been on the computer in like months, like actual long time. Usually I get to spend five minutes log off and not get back on for like days, weeks due to binge watching movies or TV or waiting on that to actually happen but never does. Or in this case, you're building an arc and that takes forever to load and then you just, you're in Zen and like build, build, build and you just lose track of time or in my case, A, when I start a project, I go till I either finish it or I have to go to bed and then start again the next day working on the project until it is done. I do not like to take breaks on it. I sit down until it's done. I don't know why I'm like that. Um, 
So the focus of the channel is still the same, light worker extension bringing awareness to the masses, which just happens to be more organic vlogging and less reading of the scripts. However, I will go back to my website and do more readings from it and maybe create more powerpoints on it. And now we have the machinima new idea story time so that's also good and hopefully we will get more uh, attraction to the channel. It's been a year and we have over 3,000 total views. Since I changed my name from Lila Rose Thelema Das Starseed to Priestess Moon, the view count has decreased. But it could be because we are gearing up for the holiday season, therefore less time on the computers, more family time, more gift buying, etc. Maybe that is why the view count has decreased or it is because I changed my name from Thelema Starseed to Priestess Moon. Just a thought on that, however, I am not, I will not be going back to my previous username. Priestess Moon fits me better as a light worker. Will I do more reading from my website? The answer is yes. Will I do more organic vlogging? Not certainly I will continue that. Will I do more gaming content? I will try. Actually, I should get back into that, like show off the games I played as a kid, like what I grew up with, and then just record that. And then we have Ark, World of Warcraft, uh, Terrorizing, I might go back to, I don't know. Uh, Th there's a lot I can do, basically. Um, eventually, I should figure out how to LARP and do that in VR chat. Well, technically, it is roleplay in virtual reality, which is actually LARPing, live action roleplay. Same thing pretty much I call it because you're in character and not your human character if that makes any lick of sense kind of like how I was writing my story and I took on a new personality it just happened I to this day I don't really know what happened it just did so I, maybe I get to show off a new side of me I don't know I, like I said, I have to figure out how to roleplay because I never roleplayed in my life, ever. I never played D&D or any tabletop games like that. Uh, so yeah, I am missing out. Uh, I think I covered everything that I wanted or came to my mind. Once again, we hit one year anniversary. Our anniversary is 11-5. So that means I had 11-11 plus 5-5-5 and Okay, we have. Let me back up. Angel numbers are a thing. Look them up. 
some people swell by them. I really don't see it. I stopped seeing angel numbers for a long time now. Uh, apparently, I'm already on the right track and just am doing what I was needed to do. And maybe that is why I no longer see the numbers. Because yeah, I stopped seeing the numbers. I used to see them like crazy in the beginning and now, poof, will you go? I do not know. So we have 1 plus 1 plus 5 plus 2 plus 1 plus 8. Figure out those numbers and you will see master number 11 plus the 5 and you just look up angel numbers and I'm sorry there was something to do with that launch date as to why I did it when I did. All I see is 11, 11, 11 plus the 555 five, five angel number. Eights are usually, I've heard it is time of war, uh, I don't know. I, Everyone has their own definition of what the numbers mean, so I don't know. Until we meet again.